Greetings, everyone. We bring you greetings from God the Father and from His Son, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Jesus Christ is alive and is now set on the right hand of the Father, according to the Scripture. This is the servant of Jesus Christ, Robert Dunlap. Coming up to you one more time with the truth and nothing but the truth, so help me God. We greet you all today. We hope and pray all is well with you. <coughs> we represent Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, he's alive. God sent his Son, Jesus Christ, into the world to die on the cross for your sin. And that blood that was shed while he was on the cross, that blood was for the remission of your sin. That blood was to take your sin away, to cleanse you from all your sin. You got sin. Well, Jesus' blood and Jesus came to take away your sin and Jesus Christ will take away your sin. Without the deeds of the law, Romans 3, 28, you, what you got to do, you got to want him to take away your sin. You got to want to be right. You got to want to be saved. You got to want to be holy. You got to want to be free from sin. You got to want to go to heaven when you die. Satan got kicked out of heaven because of sin. What makes you think you're going to heaven with sin? Now Jesus came to take away your sin. He will do that if you believe him, if you trust him. If you call on him to take away your sin. If you call on him to wash you and clear you from sin. If you repent of your sin. Let me throw some scriptures at you right quick. Matthew 1, 21. John 3, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Mark chapter 1, verse 15. Mark chapter 2, verse 17. Acts, I mean, uh, uh, Matthew chapter 26, verse 26, 27, 28. Romans 3, 28. Hallelujah. Luke chapter 24, verse 47, 48, 49. Yeah. Mark chapter 16, verse 15. Or 15, verse 16. Uh -huh. Acts chapter 2, verse 38. Acts chapter 3, verse 17, 18, 19, 20. Uh -huh. Titus chapter 2, <coughs> verse 11. Uh -huh. Romans chapter 6 the entire chapter uh -huh. Romans chapter 12 Titus chapter 1 I believe that's going to be about verse 16, 17, 18, 19 Yeah. Praise God. We give you those scriptures. Revelation 21 and 8. Titus 1. Titus 2, I'm sorry. Titus 2, 19. Make note of the old scriptures I just gave you, plus many more. All right. Today I want to talk about, excuse me, excuse me. <coughs> I want to talk about Christianity is a false 
religion like every other religion in the world. Christianity. Christianity is a false religion like Buddhism, like Muslim, and every other religion. Christianity is a false religion. I want to show you this. Now, I have to go in history and show you this. And I will come to the Bible and show you this. Let's go to the Google. And God bless uh, Brother Scotty M. Hayes. As we were teaching on yesterday, he mentioned about Christian. And we went on to do a small teaching on it. I told him I was going to teach on this today. Brother Scotty M. Hayes, God bless you. Christianity. Christian. You know the Apostle Paul, he gave his testimony to King Agrippa, and King Agrippa said, you almost persuaded me to be a Christian. Tell you what, let's go, uh, well, let's get this first. Now, what almost persuaded him? What did Paul tell Agrippa? Wait, let me go, go, go to history. Christianity. Christianity says the religion based on the person, the teachings of Jesus of Nazareth, or its beliefs and practices. Watch this. Christianity religion. The religion derived from Jesus Christ based on Bible and sacred scripture and professed by Eastern Roman Catholic and Protestant bodies. All right. How did Christianity begin? In the first century AD after Jesus died, as a sect, a sect of Jewish people in Judea. But quickly spread throughout the Roman Empire. That's a lie. Despite the early persecution of the Christians, it later became a state. Religion in the Middle Ages it spread into Northern Europe and Russia. Who started the rise of Christianity? Let's see, we do, we doing, we doing, we doing false history now. <laughs> Christianity 
originated with the ministry of Jesus in the first century Roman province of Judea. According to the gospel, Jesus was a Jewish teacher, a Jewish, a Jewish teacher, a healer who proclaimed the imminent kingdom of God and were crucified 30 through 33 AD. Okay? Where was the rise of Christianity? <coughs> A sociologist reconsiders history of how the obscure marginal Jesus movement became the dominant religious force in the Western world in a few centuries, depending on the edition. Is a book by sociologist Rodney Stark. What were they called before they were called Christians? While around 331 AD, E-U-S-E-B-I-U-S, record that Christ was called a Nazareth, Nazaria, from the name Nazareth, and that in earlier centuries, Christians were once called Nazarenes. Now you know that's a lie. You know it's a lie. Jesus of Nazareth. Who is the leader of Christianity today? Christianity Today magazine, it has a print circulation of probably 130,000, of which approximately 36,000 is free and read shit with 206,000 web website of Christianity Today. Christianity is a okay, Abrahamic monotheistic religion based in the life around the Chaldean definition or creed of Chaldean Ch 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 Chalcedonian development of Council of Chalcedonian in 451. The religion derived from Jesus Christ based on Bible and sacred scripture prepared by Eastern Roman Catholic and Protestant body to conform it to the Christian religion, the practice of Christianity. Let me give you this. Now I want to I want to show you something I need to show you this watch this Christianity spread throughout the Roman Empire watch this through a well established communication network of Roman roads and ships a considerable number of Roman soldiers became Christians. Watch this. And even bishops were in the army.
they helped spread the faith wherever they were posted. Watch this. In 3 CE, the Emperor Theodosius issued the Edict of Thessalonica, which made Christianity specifically Nicene Christianity the official religion of the Roman Empire. Most other Christian sects were deemed heretical, lost their legal status, and had their properties confiscated by the Roman state. Now ain't that the devil? Ain't that the devil? Watch this. Watch this. Beginning with the son of a Jewish carpenter, the religion was spread around the world, first by Jesus' disciples. That's the only way it was spread around the world, by Jesus' disciples. That's the only way. Now watch how other folks picked it up and adulterated it. Watch it. Then emperors, you lying devil, you. Kings, what kings? You liar. Missionary. How did they do that? Through crusades. Remember the crusades? When they went about killing people? And conquest. Taking people's lands. Like they stole up from Africa. And simple word of mouth. Christianity had a profound influence over the last 2,000 years of world history. They killed. They came and took your land and killed and stole under the name of Christianity. What time we look at that? Boy, there's some good stuff here now. The spread of Christianity was made a lot easier by the emphasis of the Roman Empire, but its principles were sometimes misunderstood. And membership of the sect could be dangerous. Although Jesus had died, his message had not, word of his teaching spread through Jewish communities across the empire. Why did Rome become Christianity? In 313 CE, the Emperor Constantine issued an edict of Malum which granted Christianity as well as most other religions legal status. Why this was an important development in the history of Christianity. It was not the total replacement of the traditional Roman beliefs in Christianity. Now, who introduced Christianity to the Romans? I want you to see this. During the reign of, of, of the Roman Emperor Constantine the Great, A.D. 306-337, Constantine began the tradition of the dominant religion of the Roman Empire. Constantine. What happened, to, what happened to the Apostle Paul? What happened to the Apostle Paul? Now, all the Apostle Paul didn't preach Christianity, Christianity or, or no other child of God preached Christianity. But what happened to the, they said Constantine. Yeah, Christianity in Rome, yeah, Constantine, but Constantine didn't preach the gospel. Get your Bible now. 
Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Get your Bible now. My, 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 my. you go to the, and I'm not saying that Paul is the only one that or all the first one that went to Rome. I'm not saying that. But we know scripture speaks about Paul in Rome. We know that. <clears throat> go to the book of Matthew. Well, let, let, let's straight up this Christianity first. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 35 and verse 8, the Bible says, Isaiah 35 and 8, the Bible says, and a highway shall be there, and a highway shall be there, and a way, and it shall be called the way of holiness. It didn't say Christianity. Excuse me. It said holiness. In another part of in that history I read, say that Christianity is not based on no rules, following rules, or you were going to church. It sure ain't. Cause y'all breaking every rule Jesus put down. I need you to go to. I want first Peter two and nine. Not God all day and night long. First Peter two and nine. Look at what it says. Right Peter 2 and 9. Hallelujah. But ye are a, excuse me, but ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, not Christian nation, but a holy nation. You know you say America is a Christian nation. Remember, they were first, the disciples were called Christians at Antioch. And later on, Constantine and them, Constantine, not only legitimized the one that called himself Christian, or the one that they called Christian, but as we read, they legitimized every other religion, including everybody. You are chosen generation, a raw priesthood, a holy nation. How come they don't say they're holy? A peculiar people. That you should show forth the praise of him that called you out of darkness into the marvelous light. What is darkness? Sin. Which in time past, ye were not a people, but are now the people of God, which had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained uh, 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 mercy. Dear beloved, I beseech you, as strange and pilgrim, abstain from fleshly lust. Abstain from fleshly lust. Go to Galatians chapter 5 and see what fleshly lust is. All sin. <laughs> All sin. All sin. Galatians chapter 5. All sin. Is, All sin is fleshly lust. All sin. Who 
Quit war against your soul. Have your conversation honest. You need to lie you. You know the politicians come to your church and lie every election cycle. Have your conversations honest among the Gentiles. That where they speak against you as evil doing, they you know they call they, by God, you know they call the saints of God evil. They may by your good works, but they shall behold, glorify God in the day of visitation. Hallelujah. Now, they were first called Christian at Antioch. Who were called Christian? Go to the book of Acts, chapter number 11, and verse 26. And when they had found him, found who? Saul. Paul. When they had found him, brought him to Antioch, and it came to pass that the whole year they assembled themselves with the church and taught much people. And the disciples were called Christian. Are you a disciple of Christ? Or are you a disciple of the church of God in Christ? In Baptist, in Methodist, in non denomination in Catholic. A disciple of Christ. Jesus said you can't be my disciple. Except you hate mother, father, sister, brother. If any man come out to me. Let him deny himself. And take up his cross and follow me. Let cut to the tape. Let go to Jesus. To John 3. I won't take my time. Well, John 3, 19. Listen to what Jesus said. And this is the condemnation that light and come in the world and be in love, dark and rest their life because their deeds are evil. For anyone that doeth evil, hate the light, neither come into the light, unless your deeds should be approved. Your deeds are evil, you not you're not a disciple. Disciple called Christian. You're not a disciple. Your deeds are evil. You're not a disciple. You didn't come to Jesus Christ. Titus 1.16 They profess they know God but in deeds in words they deny him being abominable. Jesus said they pray me with their lips but their hearts are far from me. Bible says with one blood made he every nation. Let's see about the every nation. Go to the book of Psalms. Give me Psalm 917. Hallelujah. You ain't no Christian. You ain't no, you're not a holy nation. The Bible, the Bible says holy nation. Psalm 9. Yeah. Oh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Psalm 9. Step 2. What is Step 2? The wicked shall be turned into hell. And all the nations that forget God. All the nations. All right. Proverbs 14, 34. Give you some good understanding. Righteousness exalted a nation, but sin is a reproach 
to any people. Yeah, uh-huh. The whole gonna leave me somewhere else. Oh. Uh. Matthew ten fifteen. Hold on, leave me here now. Matthew ten fifteen. Verily I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah in the day of judgment than for that city. And we see because they did repent. They did repent. Now, I want Isaiah sixty two twelve. And they shall call them the holy people. You see, I'm a Christian name, you don't say holy. Why I wonder why? Why you don't say holy? Isaiah 6 to 12. For the nation and kingdom that shall not serve thee shall perish, yea. Those nations shall utterly be wasted. Those that don't serve the Lord. Jesus said, thee in vain, as it is written, in vain these wishing me with their lips, but their heart is far from me, teaching for doctrine commandments of men. That's what they do. That's what they do. Look at America. <laughs> Look at those children. Look at those bitches. Don't talk about the boys. They talk about homosexual, homosexual marriage. But we'll not speak out against the corruption that's going on in their churches among them. That they bishops are doing. And apostles are doing. And Church of God in Christ are doing. And Baptist and Methodist. They will not speak out. And their president is doing. And their prime minister doing. And they queen doing. And they king doing. And they male doing. And they senator. And house of representatives doing. Excuse me. They won't say a word. All right. Leviticus 18. In Leviticus 18. Let, let them get there. Well, look, look, look what God said. Uh, oh. Look what God said. 1824. Defile not ye yourself in any of these things, for in all these things the nations are defiled which I cast out before you. The, na the nations are defiled which I cast out before you. The nations are defiled which I cast out before you. 
Leviticus 18.24. Now I want to go to where Oh, Peter, Pray Peter too. You're not a Christian. Disciple will call Christian. You, you the other bunch, they call themselves Christian. Pray Peter four. Look at what it says. It's sixteen. Yet, if any man suffer as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify God on this behalf. Third, fifteen. Let none of you suffer as a murderer, thief, evildoer. Evildoer consists of all evil. Jesus said, "You didn't come to me." In the third chapter, uh, Jesus said, "You didn't come to me." Everyone do it evil, hate the light. Jesus said, "You did not come to me." I, 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 got, I got much more I'm, I'm going to leave it right there he said you didn't come to me hallelujah I tell you what let go to Revelation 21 and 4 and we'll knock off well, uh, Chris Christianity We gave you the history. It shows you the falsehood. And uh, Jesus said, go to all the world and teach all nations. All nations. <coughs> Teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I commanded you. Go preach the God to every creature. Watch it, watch it. Repentance and remission of sin shall be preaching his name. Beginning at Jerusalem. See, in, in your history, your history don't say nothing about Jerusalem. Beginning at Jerusalem. <clears throat> but your history picks up with that lie of Constantine. And God shall wipe away uh That's not the one I want. 22 2. Revelation. It speaks about the leaves on the tree for the healing of the nations. Uh, 21 6. And they shall be the glory and honor of the nations into it. Nations. No Christian nation. America, a Christian nation. Yeah, I know it. It is spread to Christianity too. And killed and stole and burned and robbed and raped. It said they Christian. But they didn't say they were holy. No, they didn't say they holy. No, is that. We gave you the history. We gave you the history, God. No, we gave you the history. And we went to the Bible. Huh? You better repent of your sin. You better call Jesus. You better turn from your sin. You better come to Jesus, believe Jesus without the deeds of the law to make you righteous. Jesus, make me righteous. Make me holy. Take away my sin. That's the only way you go to heaven. Yeah. We gave you history and we gave you scripture. Christianity is a false religion like every other religion. Just, it's just like every church. Every church in the world is false. 
Every religion in the world is false. There's no church right and no religion right. The only religion right is the religion that's not of this world. In the book of James, it's a pure religion. And not the fire before God is this. Visit the Father, visit the willers. And keeping himself unspotted from the world. He's not doing all that evil. If a man, if a man seems to be religious and don't brown his tongue, that man religion is vain. We gave you history, we gave you scripture. The disciples were called Christian and Antioch, and they taught the people the word of God. They taught Christ, Christ being resurrection. They taught repentance. Remission of sin. You don't teach that. You teach that believe. That based on belief. I believe he died, rose again. I believe the judgment. That's all. I believe Romans 10 9. All y'all do believe Romans 10 9. And you say, let's say you believe. Let's say you believe. Don't repent. Don't do nothing. Let's say you believe. That confess you believe. Remember Titus number one. Verse 16, I believe, or verse 19. With their mouth, they invite. Let, let's get that. Let's get that. And we're going to close. Titus. Let's get that. I, I, I want <coughs> 116. Then Jesus said, in vain they wish me teaching what God commanded to me. You ain't teaching the scripture. You teach the good scripture, you wish in vain. Titus. Titus. Come on, that's long. Timothy. I know Titus after Timothy. Titus 1. They profess they know God. But in work they deny him. What's your word? Abominable, disobedient. You disobey the word of God? You deny it. Though you say you know it with your mouth. I'm a Christian. I fear God. America, God fearing nation. America built on Christianity. You're lying. Your works don't bat it out. Your church don't bat it out. Church of God Christ don't bat it out. Baptist don't bat it out. Methodist don't bat it out. You better turn to God. You better believe in Son Jesus Christ. You better repair your sin before it's too late. Call on it. Keep his commandments. Yeah. Jesus said in Matthew 7. Not everyone to say, Lord, Lord, shall enter in. But he didn't do it the will of my father. He gonna say, depart me, you that work iniquity. Timothy 2.19. The foundation of God standing sure, having this seal. The Lord knoweth them that are healed. Let everyone that name the name of Christ depart from iniquity. You better get yourself right with God. Repent. Believe his son. Call on his son, Jesus. To clear you and take away your sin. Your past, your, your devil past tell you, your Christian past tell you, and a bad without sin. You better repent. His blood come to clear you from sin. He said, Jesus said, keep your command. You love me, keep my commandment. Why you bring it to your commandment? Why you disobey? You better get it right with God. Believe Jesus, repair your sin before too late. Keep your commandment. Call on him. Believe him by faith. Ask him to take away your sin. Save you, wash you in his blood. Hallelujah. Go sin no more. Thank you for hearing. Christianity is a false religion like every other religion. We gave you history. We gave you Bible. Thank you for hearing.